What is up guys, Mazeman133 here, don't mind the clip in the background, it's just a quick little Call of Duty clip, but we will be getting into the Oakland Oaks first ever game back into basketball, I guess, because they used to be an ABA team, but sorry for the, like, it's kind of a longer video, it's not going to be this long every time, it's just, it's the first one, so I thought I should include more, but I hope you enjoy this video, it was pretty fun making it, so I put a lot of work into this, it took me three or four days just to do it, and I'll see you when it starts. What is up, my beautiful people of Oakland, and this is the beginning of a new era. Dante Exum at the point, Danny Green at the shooting guard, Derek Williams at small forward, Larry Nance Jr. at power forward, Joffrey Laverne at the center, and Justin Anderson running at the sixth man. This is a very young and powerful team. I mean, we have some of the best, well, yeah, some of the best young talent there is in the NBA. So I'm I'm pretty sure I explained how to how this team came about, how we had to do kind of what the Bobcats did back in 2004. But I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of information about the starters tonight. Wearing number two, Dante Exum, the 20-year-old point guard, 6'6", 190 pounds, out of Australia. At shooting guard, the 6'6", 210 pound. Danny Green, he is 28 years old. At small forward, he is a 6'8", 240-pound, 24-year-old small forward, Derek Williams. Some people will call him a draft bust, but I'm, I don't agree with that. I think he's a phenomenal player. Player that I'm excited for, as you guys saw by that first offensive possession, Larry Nance Jr. He is 6'9", 230 pounds, at 23 years old. Rocking at the power forward position. And at center, the man who's looking like he's going to lead this team, one of the highest overalls on this team, Joffrey, Joffrey Laverne. He is 6'11", 220 pounds out of France, and he is 24. He can also play power forward, but we don't have another player as tall or versatile as Joffrey Laverne. Now, Joffrey Laverne is a special player. He can play offense, defense. He knows how to pass. He's got he's got some range. I'm not saying, you know, we're going to shoot three-pointers with him 24-7, but he's he's got some range. I see Larry Nance here taking a little side shot. Oh, I thought that went in. But the Celtics are also a really young and hungry team with Isaiah Thomas at the point, two really small guards with Avery Bradley at the two. At the three, I believe they have Jay Crowder. At the four, they have a Amir, jo Amir Johnson, sorry, who <laughs> left Toronto last season to join the Celtics. And a not a nice shot there from Derek Williams. And at center for the Celtics, they have Jared Sullinger, the former Ohio State standout. So yeah, this is a very young team now. A player like Amir Johnson, a little bit older, he's always been kind of a role player, but he's always gotten the job done no matter where he's gone. Now Isaiah Thomas, kind of the, I'm not going to say all-star of this team, but he's kind of, <laughs> Joffrey Laverne gets a nice shot there to go. But yeah, Isaiah Thomas is kind of like, you know, the leader of this team. So let's get into this game. The score is 8-4 to four as Boston is leading the Oaks right now. But Dante Exum, I believe that's Dante Exum. Yeah, Dante Exum with a nice defense. That is kind of an issue with this team. Kind of, we're kind of They're kind of young. So the defense is not all there. They do have many bright spots during this game of like potential greatness on defense. Offense, there's no problem. We have we have scores everywhere. It's just see Jared Sullinger was wide open, but he just decided not to make that shot because he felt bad for us. And Danny Green going in there with the dunk. Danny Green is a player I'm extremely excited about for this season. Yeah, I think he's, he's one of the older players on the team, which I didn't go over like the age and stuff of all the bench players. But I thought about signing a player like Ray Allen as a defensive stop right there. A steal by Larry Nance. And Derek Williams going in. And Derek Williams cannot hit the height that he needs as a defensive breakdown right there. Avery Bradley was wide open in the paint, and Boston's lead back up to four. 
Well, you know, he loves the chance to get out and run. And Passing it in to Jarvis Laverne. Ooh, with the nice little reverse layup, putting the moves on Jared Sollinger. This is what I mean. Jarvis Laverne's probably going to be one of the best players on this team this year. But anyways, as I was saying about Danny Green, I think I was talking about. Yeah, Danny Green's one of the older players on this team, and I was kind of thinking of signing you know someone like Ray Allen, but I'm not sure. So I will see you guys in a second. He tries for three. Williams gets the bucket. He's trying to get. All right, guys, we are back, and here is just a quick little shot update. The Oaks are only down by two. They are out rebounding the Celtics by one, and we are tied with six assists each. As you see there, the shooting percentages and such. We are coming back into the game with about one minute and ten seconds left in this first quarter. Bismack Biombo, also a really nice young center. That's not really a good time to say that after he got stripped, but he is a really good player. He progresses nicely. All these players should really progress nicely just because they are so young. And we do have our entire bench at the point guard position. We have Shabazz Napier at shooting guard, I believe. I'm not 100% sure who we have at shooting guard. I believe it's Mario Hajonia who's going in and slamming it right there. Mario Lasagna. Yeah, uh, Lasagna. I don't know how to say his last name, so his name is Mario Lasagna. At small forward, Robert Covington. Power forward, I believe we have Trey. Yes, we have Trey Lyles in. And at the center spot, we have Bismack Biombo. So Robert Covington's a kind of a. Not kind of. He is a versatile wing player as a pull-up jumper right there does not go for Shabazz Napier. Actually, I'm sorry. That was Mario Lasagna. Kelly Olenek drives in. Gets their own rebound. Isaiah Thomas going in. Driving in. He misses. Rebound by Trent Lyles. Passed it up to Covington. Down the court to Mario Lasagna. And he's going to hold it with nine seconds left. Let's see. They're playing off ball. <laughs> we don't even need that screen, Biombo. Can Mario Lasagna do it? Got it! With six tenths of a second left, Oakland takes its first lead since joining as we teleport into the second quarter. I am still excited from that buzzer beater, folks. It's been six minutes into this game, like the second quarter, and I am still excited. So here we go. We do have bench players in. Alex Ajinka has came in for Bismack Biombo. Running on the court, Danny Green is in, and Danny Green with a shot. Ooh, the toilet bowl shot does not go in. So right now, Boston is up by four, by a score of 36 to 32, with about two and a half remaining in the second quarter. Marcus Smart at the shooting guard, I believe. Isaiah Thomas is running the point. Isaiah Thomas gets rejected. Another block by Bismack Biombo. Another block by Justin Anderson. And it does a shot clock expires. Oh, a phenomenal defensive stop right there. But we could not finish it off as Isaiah Thomas just gets that last little oomph of a shot to go in. Would, that's, see, that's one of the bright spots I see in our defense. You're just rebounding. And that was kind of horrible. Uh, Alexis Ajinka in the paint, getting oh, getting Kelly Linick to jump and getting that nice little like jump stop to kind of that wasn't a jump stop, but kind of a pump fake. Yeah, that's what it's called. You guys think I'm stupid, but yeah, that little pump fake and a go to go in. So here we go. One minute and 33 seconds left. Hashtag 133. As Marcus Smart at the point. Kelly Olenek is a dangerous player behind the arc. I mean, he missed that, but Kelly Olenek is one of the best true center shooters. He was like that. I think he went to Gonzaga. He was, yeah, he was a phenomenal player at Gonzaga. As who got stripped. I think that was Justin Anderson who just got stripped. So Danny Green. Great defense there by Danny Green, but Jay Crowder was just going in too strong to stop. So I'm going to, I know I keep harping on the defense, but the defense is kind of, you know, like what's, what's kind of bringing this down because we, the Celtics are way too open on fast breaks. Our fast break defense is not that great. And we have young players, so they should be able to get down the court nice and fast. So here we go. Ben McElmore is in at the point, taking the ball down the court with 105 left in the second quarter. Passes it to Lasagna. Passes it out to Lasagna. Robert Covington driving in. 
kicks it back out, but in a turnover. Turnovers are another. Ooh, ooh, Alexis Ajinko almost gets a steal right there. Turnovers are something, too, that this team needs to really work on. Turnovers and defense. A little bit of rebounding. Rebounding, we're pretty good on rebounding. But see, right there, we get out-rebounded by Kelly Olenek. And Kelly Olenek gets a second chance bucket to go. Ben McElmore driving in. Look at Ben McElmore looking like Froby out there. Ben McElmore. <laughs> Thank you for coming to the team, buddy. Alright, Boston is only up by six with 33 seconds left remaining. And if this works out, the Oaks are going to be again with the last shot of the quarter. Mark Smart driving in, kicks it in to Jay Crowder. Jay Crowder kind of stuck right there. That, that, ooh, that was almost a three-second call. Mark Smart driving in, kicks it in to McKee, and McKee gets it with 14 seconds left, and Boston takes his lead up to eight. Mario Lasagna taking the ball down court. Ten seconds remaining. He kind of walks it up there, playing off ball again. Alexis Janinka with the steal. Four, three, two. Got it! Mario Lasagna. Alright, here we go again. Nothing really big happened in this third quarter. As you see, the Oaks are only down by one. It is a score of 64 to 63. And guess who has the ball? Mario Lasagna for three! Three quarters in a row! Mario Lasagna! As they give the Oaks the lead. Here we go, teleporting once again into the fourth quarter, and the Oaks still hold a one-point lead over the Boston Celtics with 3.30 left on the clock. There's a nice block there by Danny Green. Larry Nance coming in. Passes it out to Danny Green, who passes it in. Great ball movement, Dante Exum. Oh, he misses. Larry Nance keeps it out to Derek Williams. Derek Williams, who hasn't had a good night, but he gets the three to go. So here we go. We're just going to take a quick break in the action and look at the stats. Boston is down by 1% in field goal shooting. They are five steals ahead of us, and those are just a quick little two stats. You can pause it if you wanted to see all of them. So as you see, Boston down by six with 130 left. Joffrey Laverne almost gets a steal right there. Isaiah Thomas kicks it, takes it back out to the top. Avery Bradley comes in, takes the jumper. No good, Derek Williams with the rebound. This possession could be the dagger as Dante Exum gets the layup to go. He put the Oaks back up by eight with 121 left in the TD Garden in the fourth quarter. Isaiah Thomas taking it to the left side of the court. Isaiah Thomas trying to size him up. He gets past Dante Exum, takes the jumper. Just kidding. No, he passed it out. Evan Turner for three. Evan Turner, I believe, is the Celtics' sixth man. He has come in and played good minutes for the Celtics. Dante Exum walking it up court. Ooh, kind of a little bit of pushing and shoving right there between Dante Exum and Isaiah Thomas. We're going to call a screen. To the paint. Into Laverne, someone in the corner. Derek Williams in the corner, and Derek Williams misses again. Oh, the steal! Jarvis Laverne with the steal. Derek Williams kicks it out to Larry Nance. Dante Exum with the ball. Ooh, ooh, get it, get it. Danny Green. Oh, Amir Johnson gets the steal. Turnovers. All right, Oakland up by five with 30 seconds left. Can the Celtics make a comeback? Jared Sollinger with the shot. Oh, it does not go in. It goes in and out. Joffrey Laverne, take it, big fella. Here's Go, Laverne. big fella with the dunk. 23 the seconds left. And that is that almost it, folks. A seven-point lead page. for your Oakland Oaks with 23 seconds left. Joffrey Laverne takes it from half court on. Being like magic out over. there. Dunking the ball and giving us a dagger court. almost, That's I would say. Eight. Terry Rozier with the ball, coming into the paint, getting a little bunch. Oh, Alexis Ajinka, you're 7-1. Come on. Boz Napier running down the court. This is how you beat the press. This is how you beat the press. Shabazz Napier with the floater. Shabazz Napier with the floater. And it gives Oakland, I believe, what is that? Uh, Seven-point lead. Terry Rozier is going to come in. Try the, oh, shines the 3 but gets blocked by Shabazz Napier. Alexis Ajinka is just going to take it. Down low and, and he throws an alley oop to nobody. But Trey Lyles with the steal. And this is it, folks. Trey Lyles no good. chucks it up from half court. And that's going to be it. 
your Oakland Oaks get a nice warm welcome back into the league with a victory over the Boston Celtics in Boston with a final score of 96 to 89. A phenomenal, actually phenomenal game by Joffrey Laverne and Mario Lasagna, two foreigners on this team that played phenomenally. I'm, I'm going to do these three stars. The MVP of the game, no doubt, Joffrey Laverne. The one that surprised me the most, the second star, I'm going to give to Mario Lasagna. And then the third star is kind of like the like a, the disappointment star, I'm kind of I'm just going to say. No, no hard feelings, but I'm going to I'm going to say Derek Williams kind of underperformed. Like he was just, I'm like disappointed in how Derek Williams played. But anyways, good night Oakland. I hope you enjoyed it this episode. This is the first game of the season and hopefully Win number one of many, and that's it for me. Love you. Good night, Oakland.